you know, he hated talking about the band. Mm. So, I mean, this, you know, I, and how could he not? Um, so instead I talked about spirituality and meditation. And I kept saying, I can't see how meditation in your garden can give you the same buzz as making music live on stage. I said, as a stand-up, I, mm. I understand how meditation's good. I don't see how it gives you the same high. Mm. We were off to the races. And oh. he was coming in for like 10 minutes and he wound up staying for four hours. And he talked That's so great. much. And we talked about the about death, you know, and about the soul. And at one point I handed him a guitar. He hadn't done a concert in America in over 20 years. He played four songs that had never he'd never played live before, including um, an unreleased song and a Wilbury song Dylan had sung. And um, he's, he was diagnosed with cancer two months later, and it wound up being his last public performance. And oh, wow. the day he died, I was up in Montreal during the comedy festival, and they asked me to fly to New York to, to host some wraparounds. They said, you know, George is in hospice, and we want to we want to recut the special you did three years ago. Because um, when it aired the first time, they cut all the God stuff out. When he got sick, they recut it, had me fly in. And then it was all of the spirituality that they thought no one would care about the first time. So the day he died, VH1 played around the clock, George Harrison and this 26 year old kid talking about God and the soul and what happens when you die. And yeah. to this day, I'll have wow. guys come hug me in airports because they'll say, I never saw anything that spiritual on, on, on TV before. 